Hello and welcome back to MLB The Show 19 and the Jason Parham Road to the Show. I'm Tyron Saber. Last time out, Jason pitched against the Philadelphia Phillies in Citizens Bank Park. And it was looking really good right up until about the eighth inning. But he pitched for seven and a third, allowed four runs on five hits, one of which was a Raymond Cortez Grand Slam. Collected eight strikeouts and got only his third loss on the season. And, uh, yeah. So we're still looking pretty good as far as the division chase goes. We're still over, you know, we're still 10 games ahead of the Rockies in the division. Uh, yeah, so we're not really hurting from that particular appearance, but we'd like to not have too many more like that. So let's get out here and get some more. Get a bullpen day going. What do we got? We can work on hits per nine. We can work on two seam break. Speed and base running aggressiveness. Sure, I guess. I think I'd rather do this uh, walks per nine cap on account of we're pretty much capped on it already. That is not Matt Trevino helping me out here, but whatever. Allow fewer than three base on balls. Pretty much done. So let's keep going. Get one more day out here. We can top out with Rafael Devers. Long overdue in my opinion, but let's see. Thanks for being a good teammate. Improve your home runs per nine. Sure. Let's try to allow fewer than one, uh, one home run or fewer in our next appearance. Well, that's always the goal. But the last time we did this, we wound up allowing two to the Giants. Let's not think about that. Let's instead get out here against the New York Mets in City Field. Now, Jason has faced the Mets a grand total of seven times before. He has a 4-0 record against them, a 1.68 ERA, and a 239, excuse me, a 293 Woba. So pretty good numbers against his former team. Uh, obviously, we'd like to keep going out here. Jason already at, uh, he's at 94 wins on his career, if possible. If we get six wins in the next month and a half to uh, get to 100 on his career, that would be awesome. But we can't do that unless we get out here and get it. Afternoon baseball now from the home of the Mets, City Field in New York. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets. The Metropolitans attempt to break out the brooms in this three-game series right after this. Robert Gesellman, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. He's been a little bit inconsistent. One good game, one bad game. But Let's play ball. Three. He's three. Three. Standing in, Bradley Zimmer. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Winning. half of the first. Well, your D-backs come out here and strike twice in the first inning, so Jason gets to come out here in the bottom of the first and hold it that way. Let's get it. Lays down a bunt. <laughs> Rafael Devers can't pick it up. Jason fields it, but uh, that is a bunt single to get on in the first at-bat of the game. Runner on first with nobody away. Next up for New York, Javier Baez. The second baseman, Javier. Javier. He's set. Here it comes. Three, three, three. Down the first base That's a grounder. Foul, thankfully. Well, guys, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, they come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, man, things haven't gone too well so far in this series, Dero. They're looking to avoid the sweep here in this one. Yeah, they, they got to get off in the early innings. It's, it's going to be swings and misses on the changeup to the outside corner. That's 0 2. Chance to relax. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corner. He is, Dero. And listen, he makes you bring the ball. Swing and a miss on the slider. Strikeout number one on the day for Jason. And that'll be the first out of the inning. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, I'm really going to have to keep a close eye on Brandon Nimmo. He was the catalyst for this ball club last month. He had an on-base percentage of over 400. And when you're doing that, you're really helping your team. 
Well, here comes Brandon Nimmo. Fastball down at 94, taken for strike one. Next call is a fastball to the outside corner. Take in, ball one. I don't think Matt Viegos is on the hot seat quite yet, considering his team is still 10 wins up in the NL West as of last check. But certainly he had some hard questions to answer in the press after allowing Jason to get himself into trouble and then allow that grand slam. Fouls off the fastball down for strike two to stay alive. If I'm on the mound right now, keeps it at one and two rather. He was definitely That's so also a foul. Pulls the, the curveball inside right for another one two pitch. One and two, here it comes. That is gonna get squirted through into right field, so that'll be another base hit. Nimmo and Bra Bradley Zimmer on base first and second with one out you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week you're doing things now cleanup hitter clay parish dude that i have no numbers on compared to jason from the stretch here's the pitch that's the boy that's the boy that's the boy one and zero. hey come on guys let's go got to hold him right here one, 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 one. Shops right, that down up, the third base up. line. Rawfield Devers is going to get it. Knock takes it over to first base for the second out. That'll still be runners for second and third. And here comes Rich Olson now. Fastball up in the zone at 96 for strike one. Chops the chain the curveball down. Keep calling them changeups. Here's a changeup. Hey, change low, up way low, taking ball one. Well, that's a smart miss there. It's a 15 pitch first inning so far. Not exactly Jason's most efficient. Not the worst by any stretch of the imagination. Then again, it's not over yet. One, two pitch. Fouls off the fastball down. Yeah, your pitch, your pitch right here. Stretch, the one, two. Give another one up and in, and that is going to be taken or swung on for strike three. And that's going to end the inning. Two strikeouts for Jason, two hits allowed, no runs. And that'll bring the D-backs up here, top two. lead this one, two to nothing. And in fact, Jason gets his chance at the plate here. Runner on first with one away. Late on that fastball, fouled it off. These Mets fellas, as they take the field here today, they've been hot of late, winners in four straight. Yeah, Matty, this should be an interesting watch today because this team's playing well, all facets of the game. Hey, get but on for us here. They're facing an ace on the other side today, and they're going to have to jump on him early if they're going to have any chance. Up, up. Popped up. Parrish has a play. Well, that was just unpleasant. <laughs> infield pop-up if you could even call it that first baseman fields it, and that's going to be the second out of that inning and when next we see jason it remains two to nothing bottom two marcus Simeon, former uh, oakland athletic Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the home side has dominated. So Curveball to the outside corner, taken for ball one. Sweep with a win in this one. You know, and it's not an easy thing to complete right a now, sweep, fellas. particularly in this day and age where the games and the teams are so competitive. So a sweep and fouls off the fastball up, up in the zone for strike two. Hey, no one down here. Right here. The one Give him two. slider down and away. Chops it away early on it. Give him another one, same spot. 
Swing and a miss. Strikeout number three on the day for Jason after really just six six batters. Three of them have been struck out. And your lineup is the new normal. Morris Lamb, Ildemar Vargas, Sammy Castillo, Rafael Devers, Reese Hoskins, Carlos Castro, Bryce Harper, Cam Gallagher behind the dish and on the bump, as usual, Mr. Jason Parham. Bringing up Ben Serrano now for the Mets. Back in the starting lineup for this one after setting out last night's game. Change up taken below the zone. Ball one. Hey, one down, one down right now. Get yours right here, huh? Drive it up there. Good tailing fastball. Fastball outside corner taken. Strike one. Here we go. Right now. Come on, guys. Give him another one right on the black. Outside. Taken outside, ball two. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Fouls off the two-seamer to the outside corner. Strike two. Hey, let's go now one time. Give him a slider to the outside corner now. Swing and a miss. There'll be four strikeouts for Jason now through the five outs he's collected. On the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that would like to see this guy up there. Into the box now, John Stout. High fly ball to center field. Carlos Castro in its tracks. And he's got it to end the inning. Puts this away to retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. Pitcher Robert Zellman coming out after allowing another run out here. So give him a slider first pitch. Takes for strike one. Hey, here we go. Here you go. Let it fly. How about another one? Fastball down and in. Takes for strike two. Good spot. Good pitch. And it's 0 2. Not looking good after being down 0 2. I think Next the pitch, curveball. Grounds that infield. Rafael Devers has it. Quickly flipped over to Morris Lamb at first for the first out of the inning. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line. Jason and Garrett Cole once again tied for best win record in the uh, National League. So one man gone for the Mets in the third. And up next, the San Diego area native, Bradley Zimmer. Fastball straight down the pipe for Bradley Zimmer. First pitch, strike one. to keep attacking his zone right here. He has a chance for a quick inning. He is not nibbling. Everything is catching those 17 inches. Now a change up down. Off the end of the bat, Reese Hoskins over there to get it. That'll be the second out of the inning. Without much problem for the second out. Now Javi Baez, former Chicago Cub, playing on the Mets now. Give him a fastball up and away. Connects on it. It's a shallow fly ball to left center field. Carlos Castro ranges over to get it. That will end the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They trail in this one 3 nothing. In fact, Jason going to get another chance out here. It's 5 to nothing in the top of the fourth. One out. First offering on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason hey, why right, he's getting knocked around. Oh, your pitch. Drive the key. Well, here you go. Now Low fastball man, taken by Jason for ball two. The zone. This is and the funny thing is, Gazelman hasn't even allowed that many pitches so far. He's at 41 through three and a third. 
This pitcher has oh, got to get back in the strike zone. Hey, your Three and to him. So he's allowing a lot of early contact. And, and a four-pitch walk well. to Jason. He didn't want any part of him. So Jason coming on first improves his OBP, which is not really considered for pitcher necessarily, but it hardly hurts. Try to challenge him, wake him up from this funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. And we got one. Digging in, Carlos Castro. Yeah, fine. Be fast enough. Come in, Carlos Castro. Let's go. Carlos Castro on the plate now. One one home. Is in there for the second strike. Robert, Robert Zellman gets a twitch out of him, but no swing. It's still a called strike. Parham, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Come on, Ned. Line down the left Liner down the left field line, but that is going to wind up foul. Ready on one and two. Outside Low ball, slider. Two balls and two strikes. Taken for ball two. You know, guys, these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far, and yeah, clearly okay. they're all on the one same page. Here. The plan is simple. Off that slider. Throw it over to Jason for God knows what reason. And he'll dive back in. That's a liner into left field, but they've got it out there for the second out of the inning. That'll bring up Rafael Devers. Lifetime matchup numbers with the Selman. He's gone three for eight. He also has one home run. Three one count to Devers. Take him for a strike. That'll fill the count, and so Jason will be moving on the next pitch. So we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. Hey, one pitch right here. Come on now. Once again, a 3-2. Fouled away. Now it's been a 16 pitch inning minimum for uh, Zellman. Swing and a liner. Come on, boys, get on up. And that's in for you're up, you're up, you're up. Make it a one for three yes, 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 so Well, Rafael Devers gets himself a solid single down the left field line, and Jason is going to score all the way around to third base. He might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get And that is going to be Robert Zellman's day. Now the New York manager's up off the bench on his way to the mound, and it would appear allowed he's four here of his starter this through afternoon. three and two thirds, I think. So he'll exit here this afternoon to a smattering of booze. Not exactly the start you're looking for out of your starter. But here comes long relief man Rafael Montero, and he is going to come out here to try to clean this mess up for the Mets. Now Bryce Harper coming out here, two for two on the day so far. See what he can do against, against a fresh arm. Here's a big swing and a miss hey, on the fastball, on, two and two. Two two count now. He and he gets rung up on a called strike. That's gonna end the inning. So Jason gets a walk out of it, but no runs for him. And he gets to go back out here against Brandon Nimmo. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. A base hit in his first trip. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. Called strike to the outside corner. I don't think Nimmo liked that all that much. Give him a cutter up and in now. 
Pops that up directly over the infield. Rafael Devers over there to get it. And that'll be the first out of the inning. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Stepping in now. Get Clay Parrish now. First pitch strike taken over the inside corner. This guy's been on cruise control as we head into the middle innings of this one. And one of the big factors why, how about 80% of his first pitches? Fastball high outside corner, swung on and missed. 0-2 count now. Give him a change up to the outside corner. No swing. Taken for ball one. Love the execution of that changeup, but hats off to the guy at the plate right now. That's a great take hey, you can in this do it. situation. No one better. Let's Maybe go. Try it again. Same basketball. spot. One, one, one. Grounder over to Morris Lamb. He can't quite field it. Flip over to Jason, and he gets the cover for the second out. Now batting, Rich Olson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, kind of shocked. He got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was laid on Give him a slider first pitch to Rich Olson. If he tries to cheat to Take him for strike one. Balls and a strike to count. Give him a high inside fastball now. And he gets him to Fouls that off, or he doesn't foul it off. It's just a pop up behind first base. Morris Lamb's got it, and that's going to end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. They can't chip into that five nothing deficit. Come on now. And here comes Jason again. Top five bases loaded. This is a tough spot in game right here. But I mean, if you're going to get a, get an RBI, Jason, this would be the time to do it. You step back, you make quality pitches, and you trust you'll wiggle your way. High inside fastball taken, ball two. A pretty easy take there. Hey, have a rip. Like again. Here you go. Three Another one inside, 3-0. and oh. They don't Nothing want to pitch to Jason at all. I can't tell why. He's just a pitcher, guys. Nothing to be afraid of. Well, especially not with a swing like that, late on a fastball. He's actually got pretty good stuff, though. You see that PCI down in the lower left corner is pretty dinky. And that was early, so that's just fouled off. Fills the count now, 3-2. Hey, huh? Here's the three and two. Three. And Jason just three. takes. Oh, gracious, what a pitch struck out looking. And there are two away now. Now I know he struck it's on me, there. folks. That's a pretty solid at bat. Anytime you can Wait, make an opposing pitcher out there work and Not throw sure quite a few out. more extra what pitches, that's a quality AD. Right there. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, hey, as the Cal Berkeley product Marcus Simeon is the first to bat in the inning. Marcus Simeon out here now for the Mets. First pitch on its way. First pitch slider. Chops and it down and away. Strike away. one. Another slider. Don't like the execution near as much on that one. And that is actually going to wind up in the gap for at least a double. So Jason leaves a mistake up in the zone, and Marcus Semyon punishes him for it. Field double, and as we take a look at the Mets leaders in that department, you can see him currently bringing up the number five spot on the ball club. Ben Serrano now coming out here for the Mets. Popped up above home plate. Cam Gallagher is over to get it, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now, catcher John Stout coming out here. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Change up. He was, I think, early on that. Yep. Hey, we got one 
out here. Hey, let it rip right here. Hit fairly well out towards high fly center. ball to center field. That's a cutter that got uh, knocked out there to center field, but Carlos Castro out there to get it. And the nice, not so accurate throw out there. And then the man with the rolly fingers mustache, Chet Ellis, coming out here to relieve the pitcher. Hold him right here, guys. Call now for fastball up and in. See it driving. Let's go right here. Line drive to left. That's a liner out this to hang up there Reese Hoskins. He's got it to end the, the inning. Shallow left, and that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Diamondbacks six, and the Mets nothing. And that will bring in the San Diego product, Bradley Zimmer. And five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three Now Bradley Zimmer come out here again. It's bottom of the sixth. Up six to nothing. Jason at 48 pitches now through five innings. That one, oh, it's off of Rafael Devers' body, not even his glove. And that's going to be an infield single. So Zimmer now two for three on the day. Sometimes Runner on first with nobody out. Fastball inside called strike one. Fastball again below the zone. Taken. Ball one. Change up just outside the zone for ball two. Got a cutter down that's taken for strike two. Hey, let it fly up there, huh? Here's the pitch on two and two. Swing and a miss on the curveball. Javier Baez strikes out for the second time today, and that'll be the first out of the inning. It's five on the day for Jason. He's fallen behind his one per inning kind of benchmark today, at least, but nonetheless, got a good swing and miss out of Baez on the curveball. Fastball in on or outside the Nimmo on strike one. Any way you can, any way you can. Here we go. Two. That's a grounder over to Morris Lamb. That is going to be a double play ball. Grounder to Morris Lamb to Ildemar Vargas and back for the double play. We're through six full. D backs out in front, six to nothing. Leading off the inning, play Harris. And they'll need him to get some. Jason out here, bottom here. seven. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score Harris. any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect one. One guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Bounces foul, so no possibility of a play on that one. That's actually to Parrish's benefit, I think, on account of he would have been dead on that one. That is just a, a roller over to second base. Vargas has it over to Lamb for the first out of the inning. Jason here at 58 so pitches through six and a third. Here in the seventh, and with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Here comes Rich Olson now for his third opportunity of the game. Struck out once. Chopped a change up down for strike one. But a curveball to the outside corner. No swing on one below the zone, and that'll be ball one. No runs, four hits. One error in the game for the Mets thus Now a cutter to the outside corner. Swung on and missed. Healthy hack that was early, and that's strike two. Now the call from Cam Gallagher is a fastball up and in, two seam. 
Jason kicks and deals. Swung on and missed. That's the second strikeout on the day for Rich Olson. Jason's ERA took a pretty big, uh, pretty big uh, walloping last time out with that four-run game he allowed against the Phils, but he is out here with an, a shutout in progress. Two outs through the seventh. We'll see if we can't keep it that way. Marcus Simeon now to the dish, takes a 95-mile-an-hour two-seamer outside corner for strike one. Now on the inside corner. Swung on and missed at 96. Late on that one. Now for the slider to the outside corner. No swing on one that was well outside at 88. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets Now two seamer down. Chops it down. Stays alive at one and two. Give him a cutter up and away. Into the air to Pop fly center. to shallow center field. That is going to fall for a base hit. Marcus Semyon now two for three on the day with a double and a single. And with two outs and a runner on first, that'll bring up Ben Serrano. Only Serrano's seventh plate appearance against Jason in his career. He's gripping the bat too tight. On, guys, he needs it. to Drive relax, it right take a deep breath, and have a productive day. Makes good contact with that one, but it's only going to fall in left field for Reese Hoskins, and that is going to end the inning. Jason's got six outs to go here and a good pitch count to do it in, so it wouldn't surprise me if he tries to go for his record-setting fourth Maddox on the year. Let's go. Jason coming out here for his next plate appearances. Struck out looking last time up. He's walked today and is 0 for 2 otherwise. 36,738 people here in City Field. The Mets, thank you for your support. I thought that was going to be a breaking ball. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. However, it has clearly not gone the way they'd hoped. Everything has been up out of the zone so far. Michael Guzman out there. Well, whatever's coming next isn't that. Well, that's just going to be a fly ball out to left field, and that'll be the first out of this inning. So Jason doesn't add to his uh, batting totals this year, but that'll bring up John Stout here for the Mets. Top or bottom eight, still down six to nothing. Kicks and deals with a cutter. Left it up in the zone. Stout fouls it off. Sounded like it was pretty good contact, but couldn't do anything with it. Find some green, baby. Find some green. Swung on and missed on that changeup very early. I think he was expecting a fastball at about 115 on that one. Now another one up and in. Fastball. Fouls that off, but it's perhaps playable. Morris Lamb back to get it. That's in his glove for the first out of the inning. And that's five outs to go. Jason leading the league this year in National League with seven complete games. The next nearest is Tim White on the Padres with three. That'll bring up Keenan Ezell to pinch hit. So we'll see what he can do out here. First pitch curveball is the call. Grounded over to Rafael Devers. Easily fielded. Sent over to first base, and that will be the second out of the inning. Four outs to go. 
bringing up Bradley Zimmer once again. Fastball up and in. It's a call. Fouls it off. Strike one. Here we go, boys. Come on. Come on, big dog. Get your pitch. Next pitch is a curveball. And this is hit hard to the right. Fouls that off as well. We've used no showtime today, so we'll go ahead and do this with a change up to the low outside corner. See if he bites on it. Let's go. He does he does bite on it, but that is just gonna be fielded by Rafael Devers. Makes the play out there, gets the out. Jason now scoreless through eight shutout innings. He's got Three more outs to go. Let's see if they leave him in for it. Well, he's facing the heavy hitters for this one. The two, three, and four hole hitters out here for the Mets. See if he can do anything with them. Javier Baez first up takes a pitch inside for strike one. Arizona has added another run, making it a seven to nothing hole they have to dig themselves out of. Next pitch low fastball outside corner, slow roller to short. Sammy Castilla's got it. That'll be an easy first out. Two outs to go. Jason at 79 pitches. Fastball low in the zone, lower third anyway, taken by Brandon Nimmo for the first strike. High inside fastball now, swung on, it's a high fly ball to the gap in left center. That is going to fall and jump over the wall for a ground rule double. So Brandon Nimmo on, he's two for four on the day with a double. That's going to bring out Clay Parrish, who is 0 for 3 on the day so far. Change up taken straight down the middle at, for strike one. Fastball to the outside corner called strike two. And you know what? I'm feeling kind of mean. Let's give this guy the old ant special. High inside curveball. See what he can do with it, if anything. Let's go. Called strike three. Why would you do that to a man, Jason? Why you gotta be so mean? Well, it just comes with the territory, I'm afraid. That will be the seventh strikeout on the day for Jason, and that'll be two outs in the inning, one out to go. Rich Olsen is the man for the Mets to try to get on the board and prevent a shutout. We'll see if that can happen. Low ball called a fastball. Low fastball below the black. Rich Olsen not happy about the call, but regardless, got to focus on the guy in front of you, not the guy behind you. Change up. Next pitch. Grounded up the middle. Sammy Castilla knocks it down, but he is unable to make a play. Prevents it at least from being a run. It holds uh, hold Brandon Nemo at third base. Rich Olsen at first, and that'll be runners on the corners with two outs. Now it's Marcus Samian. Cam Gallagher calls for a low fastball in the zone. Fouls that one off, and it's probably going into at least a couple rows deep on the right field side. Change up inside, pulls that foul. So now he's on an 0-2 count. Let's give it to him. The Showtime slider on 0-2. See what you can do with it. Swung on and missed. Jason does it again. And with that dominant performance, Jason makes history becoming the only pitcher in Major League history to record four Maddoxes in the course of one season. He goes for nine innings, allows seven hits but no runs, collects eight strikeouts and gets the win. He goes to 16-3 and three on the year, and he goes to 95-45 and 45 in his career. 
His ERA has gone to 1.62, his FIP is at 1.42, and his XFIP is at 2.41. So that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I'm Tyrant Saber, and I will see you at the ballpark.